Councillor Rutherford? Yes, thank you so much. And again, I just want to highlight that I think this is exactly what nonpartisan work at the municipal level can look like when we come together. And yeah, maybe not everybody likes every single thing in it, but overall, I think starting our debates from a place of where there is agreement and alignment and what we value overall, and for me, that was housing, that was climate, that was transportation, um, what was an important place to begin this conversation, I think. And so I, I again, want to thank Mayor Sohi's team and all the people that worked behind the scenes to help, and Mayor Sohi himself for, for the leadership you show in, in making sure that while we could be very divided, we, we can also be very united. I do want to speak a little bit to the Metro Line piece because I also really want to thank you for putting that in the multi-part amendment because I think it shows that it's not just one ward councillor carrying the weight on that, that this is actually benefiting our entire transit system. It's part of the mass transit system. And I think it sends a message to some of the, I would say, uh, misconceptions in my ward about the the investment in the north versus investment in the south and so I think it's very powerful that that piece is included in this in this amendment and I and I want to highlight that uh, the World Economic Forum just recently released their 10 best cities for public transportation and all of those systems include rail include rail all of them and so I get the discussion but I don't think we need to have either or conversations LRT is more expensive at the upfront, but cheaper operationally. BRT is cheaper on the upfront, but more expensive operationally. It's not either or, it's both and, and we need to work on that entire mass transit system as one. So I would really encourage my colleagues to help send that message to uh, residents in the north that we, we absolutely are committed to seeing that whole network uh, being, being brought through. I also just quickly want to touch on uh, the investment that we're making in economic development, right? The 137 ramps uh, right on the Hende are really going to unlock an entire industrial area and give us a tax uplift that I think is so crucial and helps to make sure that our non-residential tax uh, base is strong and doesn't put the burden just on the residential tax base. And so I think that's also something I really encourage my colleagues to think about uh, because I think we often get seen as not being uh, considering economics, but there's a lot of economics in what we've put forward here today too, both in terms of green economy, but in terms of unlocking industrial land in a way that really will help us in the long run. So as, as my other colleagues have already mentioned, I would encourage I would encourage everyone to support the, the amendment on the floor in its entirety. I will, absolutely, and look forward to hearing other people's thoughts. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Rutherford.